Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah. And a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful little Akim out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah has created us to do. So he can wake up and seal the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations that may look like the heathen nations, but your father's sea line goes back to you being a so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, one of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. It's Shalom. It's your brother Halakia from the GMS Denver camp coming back once again through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah with another video. And... I want to go into one of my favorite topics, man, the kingdom of heaven and the things that we have coming for us, you know, and, and, and to be in that spirit of looking past all the things that we suffer and go through here in Babylon the Great, knowing and understanding that it's not going to always be this way, that it's just for a moment, and that's the first scripture that we're going to start with, you see? So this is 2 Corinthians 4 and 17 says what? For our light affliction, which is but for a moment. Works for us a far more exceeding and eternal word of glory. So all the things that we go through here as a people, and especially those who serve and believe in the Lord Yahweh Shah, it's only for a moment, man. It's only for a small moment in time. I know sometimes it might get like overwhelming or whatever, but you have to jump back into the spirit and know that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is gonna bring this to an end. You know? Yeah, we we it seems like we can never uh win or we can never get a, 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 a steady foothold here in Babylon the Great, but it's, it's, it's that way for a reason. Because the Most High does these things or allow these things to happen unto us to show us that this is not our rest. We're meant to go th through these afflictions, man. The Lord Yahweh Shah went through them as well. And we're partakers of Yahweh Shah's suffering. But just like, Yahweh, just like the Lord showed us, it was only for a moment, man. Yahweh Shah ain't suffering no more. He's entered into the fullness of his glory now. Waiting to receive all the things that the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, has promised unto him. And if we continue to endure, he's going to bring us into his glory right, right along with him, man. As it is written. See, that's why we have to be strong in our minds to know and understand. Your, okay, I got a flat tower. Oh, well. You see? My bank account just took a hit. Oh, well. My woman completely out of order. Oh, well. It ain't always going to be this way. We're about to be entered in something, so, so, uh, a glory that can't even be comprehended, man. So I know it ain't always going to be this way. That the, I, I know that the Most High is faithful. I know that the Most High is going to do everything he said he's going to do. So let me let me not sweat this small shit that's going on to me now. Now the flesh might kick up and, and start acting up, but you have to stay, stay cool, calm, and collected in the spirit and know and understand that this is a part of the battle. This is the condition of the battle. I must go through this. I'm a believer of Yahweh Shah and I have to suffer as he suffered. And keep that, and just like the Lord Yahweh Shah kept it uh, uh, for the joy that was set before him, endured the cross, we have to endure the same thing and bear our cross every day, man. You see, knowing that this is a light, this is a light affliction, which is but for a moment. It says what? 2 Corinthians 4 and 17. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. So everything that we're coming, uh, going through now, and then we continue to endure it, in all faith in Yahweh Shah, we're going, to, we're going to be entered in, into an eternal glory, man. Eternal glory. Never ending glory. Meaning what? We're going to be up forever, man. We're going to have the bag forever. We're going to have the, uh, uh, the fame and notoriety forever. We're going to be on top forever, man. We're going to be, we're going to be winning forever. Like that song by J-Rock, win. Win, 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 win. Fuck everything. Girl. That's how it's going to be in the kingdom, man. Every second of every day for the rest of eternity, we are going to win, man. You see? We're going to win. Because in this society, we take L's at every turn. You know? And it's, and, it's, and it's meant to be that way because this is not our rest. We can't get... The, the Lord is not going to let us get too comfortable here, man. Now, you got your, you got your moments where the most high allow, allow you to be comfortable. Might have a, a little uh, 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 fat sack of money sitting over here for a little bit. Everything is going your way for a little bit. Then the most I hear, he'll bring some more tribulation uh, your way 
so you won't get too comfortable, man. So you can know that this is not the rest. You see? Verse 18 says what? While we while we look at while we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal. And that's what and that's something that you have to have fully sealed in your mind, man. That everything that we see around us, your whole situation. You see? The ailments you got going on in your body, the demons that plague your mind, whatever it may be that you suffer here in Babylon the Great, it's all temporal, man, meaning temporary. It's all temporary, man. Babylon itself is a temporary place. You see? That bullshit ass job you working is temporary. These trash ass women we have to deal with is temporary, man. You see? There's weak ass, sinful, wicked body that we inhabit. It's temporary, man. You see? Everything here that we experience on a daily basis is temporary. This not this is not forever, man. And you have to have the faith to believe and cleave unto that. That one day Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to change our circumstance according to the promises that he made unto us, man. And that's what it's going to be. That's exactly what's going to happen. You see, it says what? But the things which are not seen are eternal. And what's the things we haven't seen? Yahweh Shah. You see, the promises that the Most High has made. The kingdom of heaven. The immortal bodies. We haven't seen those things that we haven't experienced it yet. But those things that the Lord Yahweh Shah is bringing with him are eternal things, man. You see? Hey, us being up under the blessing. Deuteronomy 28, 1 through 14. That's eternal. Go read that, man. Deuteronomy 28, 1 through 14 is what it's going to be like every day in the kingdom of heaven for us, man. It's going to get to a point to where we ain't going to even remember what a loss feel like, man. You see? Because we're going to be winning so much. You know? And these are the things that we have to keep in the forefront of our mind so we won't get swallowed up in the sorrow of Babylon, man. You see? Drinking yourself to death. So forth and so on. Understanding that, hey, man, it's not going to always be, let me, let me, let me calm down. Let me just continue to, 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 to believe. Continue to have hope in the Lord, Yahweh Shah, because he's coming to change our circumstances. As it is written. Let's get this in uh, Romans. Eight. And uh, we'll start at 14. It says what? For as many as are led by the spirit of the Most High, they are the sons of the Most High. And how we live and, and, and what spirit are we following? We're following the spirit of, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. Being obedient to the Most High as best as we can. Putting off all the wickedness that we've done, that we were doing in the world. You see, becoming a new creature in our faith uh, because of this faith that we have in Yahweh Shah. You see? Walking in that spirit of obedience, man. Are we perfect in it? No. Do we try? Yes, we try. Everything we can uphold, we uphold it. The things we can't, we, we, we really don't have no control of. That's when we play, we lay it at Yahweh Shah's feet to take care of it for us, man. But we do put forth an effort to do what we can do as best we possibly can do it. Verse 15 says what? For ye are not received, for ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have re received the spirit of adoption. Whereby we cry, Abba, Father, and through Yahweh Shai's sacrifice, we have been given the Holy Spirit to be brought back unto the Most High, man. You see? To be meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. We're, 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 we're fulfilling that right now, man. Being able to praise and glorify the name of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, because everybody can't do this. It's not given to everybody the privilege of worshiping the Most, because it's a privilege. The privilege of worship, worshiping the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son has not been given to all of our people. It's only been given to a small remnant. As the prophecy tells you, man. Let's get that real quick. Then we'll come back to this Romans 8. This is Isaiah. And I didn't have anything planned. I'm just going in the Spirit. And it's just coming as I flow. This is Isaiah chapter 10. Verse 20. It tells us what? And it shall come to pass in that day 
that the remnant of Israel and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote them, but shall stay upon Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, the Holy One of Israel, in truth. And that's what's happening. The remnant is returning back into the Most High through the Most High, through the through the mercy that the Most High has had upon us by giving us His only begotten Son Yahweh Shah as a sacrifice. Now we're allowed to return. You see. We have we have that privilege to return unto him through that sacrifice that was made for us, man. And 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 all of our nation does not have that privilege right now. So we're in a very, very blessed position. You see? Verse 21 says, What well, the remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, unto the mighty power. You see that? And that's what's happening. The remnant has the privilege to return to the most high. So back in Romans 8. So that goes into that adoption. You see, verse 16 says, What the spirit bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of the most high. Because when you look into the earth, when you when, when you read into the when you read in the scriptures, and the most high describes the things his chosen people will be doing, you see, and when, and when you look out into the earth, the only ones you see doing it are so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's how we know we're the Israelites. Because the Bible, the the most high let let us know. Through the words that he spoke through the mouth of the prophets, what his people would be doing in the earth. That they would be up under the curses and the curses would be upon them for a sign. When we look into the earth, we see that it falls upon the so-called blacks, Spanish, and Native Americans. When the Most High tells you that we're going to be uh, remembering his name in the land of our captivity and, and thanking upon his name and rejoicing and praising, praising in his name, the only ones we see doing that, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You see? This is how we know that we're the Israelites. The, the, the word, the spirit bears witness with our spirit, man. That we are the children of the Most High. Because we are doing what the children of the Most High prophesied to do in the last days. Verse 17 says what? If children, then heirs. Heirs of the Most High and joint heirs with Mashiach. If so be that we suffer with him. There it is. We must go through sufferings, man. You see? We must go through sufferings. Some brothers are suffering more in their flesh. Some brothers are suffering mentally with demons plaguing them. Some brothers are suffering financially. Some brothers are suffering more uh, relationship with their women. So forth and so on. But every single brother is suffering in, 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 in the special way the Most High has ordained him to suffer in. To be partaker of Yahweh Shah's suffering, man. And to overcome that through faith in Yahweh Shah. To do what? If so be that we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified together. You see? You see that? That we may be also glorified together. So if we endure in Yahweh Shah's suffering, we're going to be brought into his glory, man. A glory, once again, that can't even be comprehended, really, in this flesh. You see, we won't understand the fullness of Yahweh Shah's glory until we're changed, man. You see, verse 18 says what? For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. You see? So everything we suffer here right now in the land of Babylon and wherever Achim and Akwathium are in the earth, whatever you're going through, it doesn't compare to the glory that Yahweh Shah is going to bring us into, man. You see, first and foremost, being born into a state of everlasting righteousness, never going off, that's enough for me, man. To never sin again, that's more than enough. To never have a wicked thought ever again, to never have a wicked urge ever again, man. To just do what the Most High says to do, Every day, all day, with no type of resistance from the flesh. That's more than enough, man. If it was just that, that would be enough. You see? But the most high so cold with it, he going to bring us into this everlasting, this everlasting state of righteousness. This everlasting state of obedience. You see? And give us all manner of perks. The, the blessings are the perks of, uh, of being changed and made completely righteous. Because we don't get the blessings until what? We're changed. So it lets us know that what? The righteousness of the Most High is, is 
at the forefront, us being changed, us walking in complete obedience to the Most High is the most important thing. And everything, you see, after that is just a perk. You see, an extra added bonus. You see? It's gonna be, man, it's gonna man, it's gonna be spectacular, man. I can't even like when we try to describe these things, we can't even find the words to, to actually do it justice, man. Because spectacular and so forth, all these things, all these words have been used to describe shit that Esau has. You see? Oh, it was a spectacular event. It was marvelous, da -da 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 -da. whatever. But what yeah, how about Shimmy, how Shah's about to do for us? The word hey man, we there are no words to describe. The type of glory that we're going to be entering into, man. Jake think they doing some shit. Nah, they think they out here balling. They living, you know what I'm saying? Living life to the fullest, man. They ain't seen life yet, man. We haven't seen life. We haven't experienced true life. You see? We haven't experienced complete righteousness or a perfect family structure where the man is the head and the, and the wife is under him and the children are in order, so forth. And so we haven't experienced that, man. These are all the things that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to bring us back into. After we would endure this last little cup of uh, uh, the last bit of this cup of uh, the Most High's wrath, man, which is what Jacob's trouble. You see, it's man, you know. So yeah, Romans eight and eighteen. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. So, whatever we suffer right now, it, it is. It doesn't even register on the scale. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't even register. You know what I'm saying? We can't even compare it to what we're gonna receive. You know, like brothers always say, man, when we finish, when we when when it's finally over, and we are in the glory, we like, damn, we got all this for this little bit of suffering that we partook in in Babylon the Great, because it's gonna be that great, man. You know, so. Let's go on. Let's go here. There was another one on the grab. Yeah, yeah, right here. This is uh, Second Edges eight and fifty one. It says what? But understand, for, but understand thou for thyself, and seek out the glory which shall be, which shall be like thee. For unto you is paradise open. You see, unto you is paradise open, man. And that's what the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah is planning to bring us back into paradise, man. You see. And we're far from that here in Babylon the Great. Babylon the Great is not a fucking paradise. This is the, the, the valley of the shadow of death, man. You see? It says what? For unto you is paradise opened. The tree of life is planted. The time to come is prepared. Plenteous is made ready. A city is built and rest is allowed. Yea, Perfect goodness and wisdom. And that's what we're being brought into. You see? How the most I always intended us to live on the earth, man. The right way. We've experienced the bad way, man. We, we experienced the wrong way to live on the earth. You see? We, we have more than enough experience of how, how to live wickedly, man. But this what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is about to bring us into. Is, is what it's truly supposed to be. You see what it's truly supposed to be, how life is truly supposed to be lived. You see, everlasting rest for us. Kick, kick, hey, no more calluses on your fucking hand. <laughs> you see, no more back pains, no more knee pains, no more suffering, man, no more sorrow. And the Most High reiterates these same points all throughout the scripture. He always, the Most High always talks about wiping away the tears from our eyes, man. You see, always talks about it. There should, there should be no more sorrow, no more death, no more pain. And I shall wipe away all tears from their eyes because we're suffering here, man. We're suffering here. And the remnant, the elect of Israel, we, we're the only ones that know we're suffering. Out of, all the, out, out of all these Israelites that are in the earth, only the elect see that we're suffering, man. And we're the ones who are cleaving unto the promise of, that the Most High made, on, made unto us. To take us from this place. Verse 53 says what? The root of evil is sealed up from you. Weakness in the mouth is hid from you. 
And corruption is fled into hell to be forgotten. Meaning what? To the grave, man. It's fled into the grave to be forgotten. To never be remembered again. That's why I say it's what? The, uh, the former things are passed away, man. The former things which are what? The sorrows that we suffer here in Babylon the Great. Being up under these curses. Being up under the rulership of the heathen. All these things are about to flee away to be forgotten. You see? To never be experienced ever again by the Israelites. This is what a hey, this is what we're hoping in. This is what we're hoping in, man. And this is what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to bring us into. Verse 54 says, What? Sorrows are past, and the end, and in the end it showed the treasure of immortality. You see that? And that's what Yahweh Shah is going to bring us into when he returns. A state of immortality, man, a state of complete righteousness. A state of complete peace, a state of complete rest for us so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Finally, man, as the Most High has promised. You see? So I want to grab one more. And we'll wrap it up. Because I was just like meditating on what to go into, man. And this is always something beautiful to go into because it keeps, you see, it, it gives us something to fight for. You always do better when you have a goal to reach. You know what I'm saying? When you set a goal, when you set a goal, man, it, it, it's always, it's, you, you notice how you fight harder for some uh, a goal that you set than just like randomly doing something, man. You see, if you got a, if you got a set destination, a set place that you want to be, that you want to get to, writing it down and, and like, yeah, this is my goal. I want to do this. It's, it always feels like it, it, that, that's what keeps you driving and that's what the Most High has given us. This vision, you see, through the Holy Spirit to know and understand that we have some greater coming, and that's what we're fighting for. You see, so this is uh, Colossians one. Oh, let me see. I think it's Colossians. Yep, Colossians three and three. So like it. Think about some notes. This is uh, Colossians 1 and uh, 3 and 1. Slaki. If ye then be risen with Mashiach, seek those things which are above, where Mashiach sitteth on the right hand of the Most High. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. You see that? So that's what we're supposed to be doing. Having our mind in the heavens, man. Seeking those things which are above. Seeking the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah to be done on earth as it is in heaven. It says set, set your affection on things above. Set your affection on what? On everything that Yahweh Shah is bringing. Yeah, we haven't seen it, but that's why we move in faith. We shall, a, hey, the just shall live by faith. We walk by faith and not by sight. You see? It's all about faith, knowing and understanding that this is, this is real, man. That this is true. And that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to bring it to pass. Just like everything else that he's prom promised to bring to pass, man. You see? It says, what? Well, set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. For ye are dead. For ye are dead, and your life is here with Mashiach, Yahweh Shah, and the Most High. So we haven't experienced true life yet, man. We want to experience that until the Lord Yahweh Shah returns. So we are dead to this place. You see? The reason we can't. Uh, excel and exceed like some of these people in the world because what it's not meant for us to do that here we're meant to do that you see in the kingdom of heaven you see in the fullness of being the sons of the most high we're going to be blessed with everything forevermore it even tells you in Isaiah 65 that when we're praying to the most high for things before we even finish our prayer he's going to be in granted it for us man that's the type of connection that we're going to have with the most high in the kingdom you see that that's that's a that, that's glory that can't even be comprehended right now that you can talk to the most high and before you even finish it's already being granted for you man you see that's what we're being brought into this is what we're fighting for man colossians 3 and 3 uh colossians 3 and uh 3 for ye are dead and your life is here with mashiach and the most high when Mashiach Yahweh Shah, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. And man, 
I want to be a part of that number. And I know all you brothers who are out here doing this in truth and sincerity, man, who are truly fighting for this. We we all want the same thing, man. To be entered into your house, shall glory. To, to be entered into the Son of the Most High's glory, the only begotten Son's glory. He's received everything in existence as a possession. He and he's 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 uh, cold enough to share it with us, man. And not only share it, but give us big portions of it, man. <laughs> you see? So this is what we have to fight for. I said, I know, yeah, man, it sucks. Babylon sucks, man. As you every day, <laughs> every day that you ain't doing this truth, you, you, you come to the realization more and more each and every day how fucking bad this place sucks, man. But what keeps us driving, what keeps us pushing, what keeps us going? First and foremost, the Holy Spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. You see? And through that Holy Spirit, that vision the Most High has given us to see these beautiful things that He's going to do for us, man. So keep holding on. Keep fighting. Keep pushing. We're in the home stretch. We just have a, a few more prophecies to endure. The, 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 that, that MOTB. Jacob's trouble popping off World War Three, the missiles, and Lord willing, we can endure all that, and Yahweh can beam us up, and our true life can begin, man. You know, because it it, it, it is going. to, oh, Matter of fact, it is going to come to pass. I just read this earlier, Revelation chapter twenty one, verse seven says, "What he that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God." And he shall be my son. And that's a promise, man. You see? That's a promise. If we over, overcome and endure all things, we're going to inherit all things. You see? Because we will be made uh, partakers or uh, co-heirs uh, co in Yahweh Shah's glory. As it is written, Thus saith Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. And so with that, I'm going to give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah. And a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopefully let I came out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work that Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah has created us to do. And with that, I'm going to say Shalom, Wa, and Yabah,